What's up guys, this is Joe from Rockstar Reviews and today we are going to be reviewing this. It's actually my personal TV, it's a Sharp uh, 60 inch LE 757U, so it's a 2013 model. I used to sell TVs, so I know a thing or two about them. And uh, there's a couple things I want to touch on with this TV. The first thing I want to touch on is it's made by Sharp. Sharp makes more 60 inch TVs than any other manufacturer in America, or they've put more 60 inch TVs in homes than any other manufacturer that is. Uh, the reason I like Sharp is number one, there's a technology called Quattron, I'll talk about that in a second. That's one thing. Uh, the other thing is, is for what you spend, you get a really good value for your dollar. Um, Samsung makes the best TVs on the market, but Sharp makes a really, really good TV for the money you're spending. This TV right now is a little over a thousand bucks on Amazon. When I got it, it was closer to like fifteen hundred. Uh, I got it about last year, but it's a sixty-inch TV. Uh, the one thing I really like about it is, is it obviously mounts well on the wall. I just got it mounted. If you guys want to come over here and take a look at it, um, super thin TV. I'd say it's only about maybe an inch and a half, uh, which is nice. It weighs maybe fifty pounds, fifty fifty-five pounds. Um, I have it on an articulating mount so that I can turn it and everything, but. Um, I'll get into a couple things. Obviously, it's a 1080p TV. It's not 4K. Um, I really don't think it's worth spending the money to get 4K. So it's just something that um, maybe when the content's more available, I'll definitely do that. But it's 1080p. It does have a technology called Quattron. This is something that Sharp has a patent on. There's four colors in the pixel. So they actually added yellow. It's a subpixel, and it's two million more um, colors to the TV, and it really enhances. And there's not anything on the screen I can show you, but. Uh, it enhances your yellows, your oranges, and those colors. Uh, it's going to give you a billion more colors, but they say two million uh, subpixels. But anyways, long story short, uh, it enhances quality of the color. Uh, the contrast ratio on this TV, I believe, is 10 million to one, and I'm going off memory there, so don't quote me. But the top end TV in their lineup this year was the 857, and that had 12 million to one. Um, their TV, their entry level series, which is the 650U, I think that only had four million to one. So this is a huge jump to either eight or 10 million. But anyways, this TV right here, um, it's an upper-end TV for more low-end money, so that's why I like it. Not low-end, but middle-of-the-road money. Um, but there's some things I can tell you about it. First of all, it is 3D. It's active 3D. So these are what the glasses look like. They are active, like I said. So what that means is, is there's a battery built into the glasses. You do have to turn them on. Um, this is what they look like. They sit on your face pretty good. Um, they look a little funny, obviously, but at the same time, they're actually not bulky and they're not heavy, which is nice. Um, but yeah, active 3D is better than passive, uh, simply because it creates a deeper picture. Um, this TV can convert a 2D image to 3D. Of course, it can make any 3D image, you know, 3D. So if you're watching a 3D Blu-ray, it'll definitely do that. Um, it comes with two pairs of glasses in the box. I think more glasses from Sharp were like 20 bucks, but I want to say the Samsung. Uh, I forget the model number, it's like TU20Us. They work with it as well, those are only like 20 as well. So there's different glasses that'll work with it. Um, another thing I really like about the TV is this is the first TV ever to be released with a wallpaper mode. Uh, they made this so that when your TV's up on the wall and it's just sitting there, you can actually put images up there. You get a flash drive, put a couple hundred images on the back and it will actually tell you specifically, you know, oh, do you want it to be on for three hours, six hours, 12 hours, 24 hours, and it just rotates through every couple minutes in a random order. So I have like 300 pictures on here, I just put random stuff, like there's a boat, I have cars, I have beaches, I have all sorts of stuff. So there's some really cool things you can do there. I'll turn it off again, uh, and turn it back on, and I'll show you um, uh, the different pictures, but see, there's one of my favorite basketball teams, obviously, Michigan State, so you can see that. So you just get an example of it, but it really adds to the wall. As you can see, I have it mounted, so it just looks more like an art piece. It's just not just a big black box on the wall. So that's a really cool feature as well. But overall, um, in Sharp's lineup, you'd have to spend easily $400 more to get the same exact picture quality. It is a 240 hertz refresh rate, obviously. Um, the 240 hertz refresh rate is the fastest they get. Um, it has the, um, the clear scan, I think it's 860 on this, either 860 or 940. That's a secondary refresh rate that helps the TV uh, with motion blur. To be honest with you, it's not as big of a deal as just getting a 240 hertz. Obviously, you can get 60 hertz, 120, and 240. This, of course, is a 240. So when you see sports and stuff, you'll see a little bit of motion lag on that ball, but movement overall looks really, really clear, and that's what you want, obviously, especially with golf, football, basketball, that kind of stuff, where you have a fast-moving ball. 
Um, but with that being said, I love the color. Um, Energy-wise, it's very efficient. It's Energy Star rated. I think he uses $14 a year in electricity if you use it on average of like four or five hours a day. So it's extremely efficient. It's an LED. Um, so that's what I love about it. But it's got four HDMI ports. It's got optical USB component. Uh, you know, two USBs actually. Uh, audio in. It's got all the ports you need and of course it mounts to the wall as you can see there. So it's definitely a really good option. I love Sharp. I really, really do. Uh, their 2014 models are exceptional as well. So if you can get a good deal on that, do that. But um, hopefully it gives you the information you're looking for. Uh, if you have any questions, just comment below. And uh, that should do the trick. So if you guys uh, like the video, please uh, you know, like it, comment, share. Um, the link below will take you to Amazon where we're actually going to link to this specific model. So if this is something you like, definitely pick it up right on Amazon. They'll deliver it to your door. Um, oh, and one more thing I want to show you. Of course, it is a smart TV that's hot nowadays. Uh, smart TVs are huge. So this TV will connect via wireless to your internet. It can also be hardwired to the internet with an ethernet cord. But as you can see, here's the remote. It's a basic remote, but there is Netflix built into the remote and there's things like Pandora and that stuff. So if you hit Netflix, I have it set up. It'll take me uh, right to my Netflix account. Of course, I have my username and password already in there. Um, and it worked a couple minutes ago, so it should be uh, whatever. But it'll definitely take you to your Netflix and to other things. I will say that Samsung does beat out Sharp in terms of smart features, but at the end of the day, I mean, I don't use it that much, so I just wanted a really good picture quality, a really good 60 inch LED, and this is where it's at. Um, but as you can see right there, I mean, I got Netflix and all sorts of stuff. Um, the interface though isn't as good as I would like. Um, one thing the TV does do is because it's connected to the same Wi-Fi as mine, I can go on YouTube, and this is a really cool feature. People will really like this. Um, let me go like this. I'll show you guys. I can stream my uh, phone to the TV wirelessly. So my phone is, of course, connected to my Wi-Fi. The TV is connected to the Wi-Fi. Even if it's hardwired to your modem, it will work. I had that happen before, but... I'll give you an example right here on your phone. You'll see this show up, and I'll show you once this commercial is gone here. That right there is what you hit, and it'll say connect to TV. Miracast, I believe is what it's called. No, it's just built into the oh. YouTube app now, actually. It's Miracast. So um, it'll, it, it's built into the YouTube app if they're on the same network. As you can see, it's pulling up YouTube. It'll say connecting on the phone. It'll take a second to load on the first video, but if I want to show some friends something on YouTube, it's just going to be there. As long as I have a smartphone that connects to Wi-Fi, um, and as you can see, there's the trailer. So there's some really cool things you can do with it, um, and of course you can control it from your phone. You can do pause, play. I can you know change videos if I wanted to. I can do whatever I want. I can fast forward like I just did. So you have complete control over YouTube, which is awesome, because I use YouTube all the time, obviously. Um, so there's some really cool stuff you can do there, but that's just another kind of in and out of this TV that I absolutely love. But hopefully all this information helps, guys. Uh, definitely click the link below so you can go to Amazon and pick up this TV. The last I checked right now, it's at like $1,099 on Amazon, which is actually below what I paid at cost when I was working in the industry. So I think I paid like 14 at cost and it was like 15 or 16. There's not a lot of margin on TV, so keep that in mind. But it's definitely a really, really, really nice TV and I highly recommend it. Um, and it comes with a one-year manufacturer warranty. So hopefully that helps. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for checking out our channel. Please like, comment below, and uh, have a great day.